Hello, my beautiful people. What's good? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you joined me here. Now, in today's video, I'm going to take you guys through a bunch of body care and hair care empties. Now, I don't have too many body care or hair care empties right in front of me here, so I wanted to club both of these in a single video. Regardless, I'm going to take you guys through all of these with many reviews as always. Now, if you're watching me for the first time, then hi, my name is Preeti. I'm India's first cruelty free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty free, which means products that are not tested on animals. If that's the kind of content you resonate with, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and continue watching today's video. So I'm going to start with body care and then we're going to move into hair care. The first product right here is from the Nika Naturals Wanderlust range. This is the Mediterranean Sea Salt Deodorant. This is one of my favorite ranges of Nika Naturals and I constantly repurchase a lot of products from this particular range. Now one of my favorite things about Wanderlust range of Nika is that the scent, the perfume lasts all day long across their products. This is going to leave your underarms feeling fresh and smelling good all day long, literally till the next day, till your next shower. However, this does not really control perspiration for long hours. So if you sweat a lot from your underarm, then you might want to use a proper aluminum deodorant and then go in with this for that fragrance because this doesn't really control those pit stains. You know what I mean? I love this one and the sweet pea deodorant. Both of them are my absolute favorites. Now this next one is a shower gel that I'm not a big fan of you guys, the Fuji Green Tea Body Shop Shower Gel. I'm not a fan of Body Shop shower gels i just hate them so much because the fragrance smells really nice in the bottle but when you're using it your bathroom smells really good but it just fades away from your skin literally within a few minutes and that is what i hate about these shower gels just not worth the price in my opinion the pure by priyanka shower gels you know even the nika wanderlust oh my god the plum shower gels are so good but this is honestly no match for the indian brands that we have here in terms of shower gels i do not like this at all i don't enjoy this fragrance we have another nika product right here from the wanderlust range this is the californian almond milk body scrub a constant repurchase for me i love using this in nighttime especially when i'm going to take a nice beauty sleep this helps me sleep so much better because the fragrance is so relaxing this entire range the body butter the body lotion body milk i've tried every single product from this range the shower gel as well absolute favorites for me one of my favorite things about the body scrubs of this range is that they are very very gentle not as gentle as sugar scrubs and not as harsh as the coffee scrubs Perfect for inner arms, inner thighs, your chest, your stomach area. Of course, if you apply some more pressure, you can get intense exfoliation on your thighs, knees, legs, etc. But overall, this is a winner for me if you don't want harsh body scrubs. We have another body scrub right here. This one is from Plum, a constant repurchase for me. This is from the Driving Me Cherry range. Now, from all the ranges of Plum, I find this one to be the highest in fragrance. I don't enjoy the body yogurt. It's very, very heavy on fragrance. It's just not my thing. Also, cherry is not my ideal preferred fragrance out there. But in terms of body scrub, this is perfect because I want something uplifting in my daytime. The fragrance is super long lasting on the skin, but it's not too strong like the body yogurt or the other products from this range. What I like about this is that it has cellulose beads, so you can use it on gentle areas. You can use it on your butt. You can use it on your thigh. It doesn't have any harsh edges, so you're not going to really cause any micro tears of sorts. Two of my all time favorite products, you guys, from the Vanilla Vibes range of Plum. Um, this is the shower cream. It's perfect for dry skin, perfect for winters. You can use it with a loofah. You can use it by itself as well. The fragrance is super long lasting. This is a constant repurchase for me because this is perfect for the dry skin that I get during this time of the year. Now, this one right here is a constant repurchase for me. It's a superb oil if you have very dry skin. Perfect for the legs, for the butt, for the knee. Oh my God, I love this so much. Perfect for winter as well. The only problem is with this kind of a full size, the fragrance fades away. I don't use this every single day. I don't have the driest skin out there. I use this maybe twice or thrice a week and that's about it. And I noticed that when I went three fourth into this bottle right here, the fragrance kind of just faded away. There was no vanilla fragrance at all. It just smelled like raw materials, like raw oils. And honestly, it smelled pretty bad. I just didn't like it. So I had to top this off with, you know, apply a lotion and then apply this on top to just get some fragrance and get done with it. But it wasn't the most pleasant experience. Now, this can get a little greasy if you apply too much. Be very careful. It's not a serum like consistency. It is an oil after all, a mixture of a lot of good oils. So this could feel a little heavy. Definitely not for the summers, definitely not for humid weather. The next one is an EDT. It's called Red Fixation and this is from Body Shop, a constant 
purchase of mine but unfortunately the brand has discontinued this this has vegan musk so the musk that's taken from male deer that's not the case with this they synthetically make it in the lab to replicate the formulation which is fantastic now the brand claims that rebel rose is pretty much the same like this with a revamped packaging i did test it out at the store they smell pretty much the same but i haven't applied it on my body and tested it out for long hours now this one is super super long lasting it lasts all day you guys especially on the body for an edt it's very very long lasting and i love it so much because it's a strong middle eastern fragrance yet it has some kind of floral and spicy notes which make it perfect so if you don't like strong fragrances skip it altogether. but if you're like me and you love mysterious dark sexy strong scents you know i love them so much that's like my go-to um this is the one you should definitely try out rather rebel bros because this is discontinued the next one is a vegan skincare brand the skin pantry and this is the body butter the lemon cheesecake one i think earlier i spoke about vanilla i think a few months ago in my body care and skincare empties it's fantastic both of these formulations are very nice this has a strong citrusy kind of a fragrance perfect for daytime extremely moisturizing it's thick but it's like whipped butter so it doesn't feel very greasy on the skin even though this is a beautiful formulation it's a vegan brand all support to local vegan brands but what is that shelf life it is ridiculous you have literally three or four months to finish a product like this now imagine you have other body butters and other oils and maybe you're traveling and you were unable to finish it this will go rancid i extended this to about five months it didn't go bad but i don't know if that's a risk i should be taking again with body care i don't see myself purchasing skin pantry for the small shelf life i simply cannot finish a product in three to four months it's humanly not possible for me especially with my routine my job profile and with traveling so um this is a no for me the next one is a body lotion from nourish mantra this is the mystic indian rose i love this so much it's this luxurious rose scent and i don't like floral notes so much but this smells so good you guys it's like a lotion but it gives you the effect of a body butter it's not greasy either it has a creamy oily texture but this doesn't feel heavy on the skin i've spoken about this in my best of body care 2021 i spoke about this in my best body oils body lotion body butter video as well i'll link all of them in the description and leave the links in this video up here as well absolutely love it a lot of you guys bought it on my recommendations and tagged me on instagram commented on my videos as well so thank you so much for trusting my recommendations now the last item in body care empties is the engage le mans sun kiss perfume this is an edp it's not an edt so it's oil based it's definitely long lasting but not the most long lasting i'm gonna give it about four to five hours and then you have to spray it again however this is one of my favorite scents out there the first two were gifted to me by the brand and then this is a constant repurchase for me it's cruelty free it's an indian brand it's by itc which doesn't test on animals I love the notes of this because this doesn't have any extreme florals or extreme citrusy notes. You're not going to smell like a walking jasmine. It doesn't have any strong musky notes. This is the perfect feminine fragrance, but not too sweet and not over the top. Even this packaging is really beautiful. Like I'm so proud of Indian brands to really taking it up a notch when it comes to their fragrances and competing with international brands out there. That's it for the body care empties. Let's jump into hair care empties. Now, the first one right here is the leave-in conditioner. This is from Aveda from the Botanical Repair range, one of my favorite ranges of this brand. It's strengthening, it's hydrating, it's moisturizing. It's perfect if you have hair like mine. Like right now, I haven't styled my wavy curls at all. I've just applied this leave-in and that's about it. And it does control frizz quite a bit. I strongly recommend this for damaged hair, for people who travel a lot, you know, you're changing water constantly. For people who love swimming, I love going to the beaches. If you even go to swimming pools and if you don't wear the hat when you go swimming, then you definitely need to try this out because this is perfect. It strengthens your hair. It's not the perfect one to reduce frizz because this doesn't really claim to do that, but it's very, very strengthening. I've noticed that my bleached hair does not break. Like a lot of times when I used to use other conditioners and other leave-ins, my bleached hair would tend to break. But with this, that doesn't happen. Now, if you want to take it up a notch and if you really want to treat that damaged hair, try getting this mask you guys because this is fantastic now this is slightly on the pricier range this is the rich variant which is slightly heavier they have a light variant if you have very fine hair and if you have hair like mine which is curly wavy colored bleached damaged if you have very thick hair then you can definitely try this out i would suggest getting the mini because that's affordable it also lasts a long time like a good four washes easily if you have curly wavy hair and you want to detangle your hair in the shower then this is going to be your best friend it has such a good slip 
oh my god this is fantastic the next one is the organic dry shampoo from juicy chemistry a constant repurchase for me i like this packaging better than the new packaging because the new one has that cardboard thing which is so difficult to open and close because when you keep opening it it's just going to get all mushy and the paper is just going to come off and then it gets difficult to put it back it's a hot mess i really like this one right here this is perfect if you want to add volume to your hair if you want to you know reduce all the greasiness on your hair this is fantastic a little goes a long way don't add too much because it's going to give you a lot of build up on your scalp you cannot use it two days in a row you can use it today and then wash it off tomorrow if you're going to keep reapplying two three days in a row you're going to have a lot of build up that's going to look like dandruff and that's not a good time. You don't want to do that to yourself. The next one is from Love Beauty and Planet. One of my favorite shampoos out there from the Smooth and Serene range. This is Argan Oil and Lavender. I love this so much. This is the sulfate version, the new version. All of the shampoos actually from this brand are now sulfate free, but they have the same finish, you guys. This is the perfect smoothening shampoo. The conditioner is so good. The hair mask is so good. This is perfect for anybody that has curly, wavy, frizzy hair like mine, if you have colored hair as well. This is great for anybody that just wants to smoothen their hair out regardless of your hair texture. Then this is going to be your best friend. The shampoo and conditioner go hand in hand, you guys. They complement each other beautifully. The next one is from Maintain, and this is their deep conditioner. This is the old packaging but this took me a while to finish you guys because a little goes a long way you add some water and it just becomes so much this is fantastic if you like styling your curly wavy hair even if you don't have curly hair and you just have straight hair that's damaged then you need to try this out because this is fantastic and the packaging is different now because the brand did a whole rebranding of sorts for their brand colors it's extremely moisturizing it's got the perfect balance of moisture and protein so you don't get a protein overload and your hair doesn't feel too stiff the next one is from fix my curls the curl defining gel this is the og product and also an old school packaging the new one is a big tube which is a lot more convenient honestly when the product starts to finish in this it's so difficult to scoop up the bottom bit because this hair gel is very thick it is one of the best hair gels out there it is no joke it gives you this strong hold like no other gel in the indian market a little goes a long way you want to start off with a little product add some water and then scrunch it in and then later see if you need some more dampen your hair and add some more gel because this has a very strong hold we have the amla and curly leaves conditioner from nika naturals i love nika naturals shampoos i love their hair mask as well now their hair mask are pretty first free they all perform pretty much the same way if I'm going to be 100% honest. Even their conditioners, they all perform the same way. You can just pick any one of them. You don't have to be too specific because conditioners never go on the roots. They go only on the hair. I'm not the biggest fan of the fragrance of this range. Not going to lie, they smell like Odomos. I'm not a fan of how this feels on my hair, mainly because it's not the most deep conditioning conditioner out there. It's pretty okay. Like when I compare this with the cherry almond conditioners of Aveda, or the botanical repair deep conditioner or even the conditioners from any other brand like even love beauty planet for example this doesn't really compete with them on that level but the shampoos of nika naturals are all really really good i love them so much the next one is a nutri plenish leave-in conditioner this is a mini and i love this so much i buy a lot of minis because i travel with them and also they're convenient to use and pack in when you want to refresh your hair I love this so much because this doesn't weigh my hair down. It's got this watery kind of a finish, which really conditions the hair. You guys, it reduces frizz so well. If your hair lacks hydration, like mine right now lacks a lot of hydration, then this is going to be your favorite product because it adds that hydration back to your hair. Of course, you will need to lock this in with an oil-based serum because you don't want to cause frizz. Water will evaporate. You need to create that barrier. This is fantastic for very, very dry hair. The conditioner is really nice. The shampoo is really nice. Perfect if you have very brittle hair and you just don't want to trouble it too much. You just want a very gentle hair care routine, then this is going to be the one for you. I strongly recommend this leave-in, you guys. It's a very different formulation. Some more Aveda products, you guys. I'm a huge Aveda fangirl. This is the shampoo. I already have another full size in my bathroom. Absolutely love this. This is the perfect shampoo for all hair types. It's strengthening, it's cleansing, it's smoothening, it reduces frizz. It's perfect for damaged hair, perfect for wavy, curly hair. If you have 
hair that's just compromised you can definitely try this out the fragrance of this entire range is really nice you guys pretty no fuss and this is the light variant of the hair mask if you have very fine hair and if you have straight hair that doesn't have too much frizz or isn't too damaged you can use this but if you have hair like mine which is frizzy curly wavy damaged bleached then use the thicker hair mask because you would need that this doesn't do much for me this was gifted to me by the brand i didn't restock this because this doesn't give me that kind of a moisturizing nourishing treatment that i need for my hair type i like the thicker one the rich variant and that's the one i keep repurchasing we've got the true frog anti-dandruff shampoo right here perfect if you have an itchy scalp if you have a little bit of buildup i don't have dandruff so i can't comment on that but from what i've seen online and reviews and what my blogger friends talk about this has helped them a lot with their dandruff the ingredient list is really good if you want to combat itchiness dandruff and you know inflammation on your scalp this is really really good it's also very gentle on the rest of the hair a lot of anti-dandruff shampoos can feel a bit much you know for hair like mine for example they rip off the moisture a lot and they just feel too too much but this doesn't do any of that the next one is the ultra defining hair gel from curl up i love this so much you guys this gives you a medium to strong hold it's not extremely strong like the fix my curls one so it gives you room to play around as well it's not too thick um, you can refresh with this as well if you want to i find this perfect for my type of hair which is curly wavy even if you have hair that's finer than mine when i say fine hair i mean every single hair strand is very thin this will still work for you because it's such a fantastic product. The next one is the Shea Butter Conditioner from The Body Shop. If you have hair that lacks the bounce, it lacks the shine, you want to add that moisture back to your hair, then this is a very good conditioner. However, this has no slip, man. Like, if you want to detangle your hair in the shower, good luck with that because it's not going to happen. This has zero slip. This has been emptied for about six months now and I haven't repurchased it for the exact same reason. I need the detangling in shower. I have wavy, curly, bleached hair, so if it doesn't detangle in shower, like regardless if I've detangled before shower, it does get entangled because, you know, bleached hair, it's just what it does. So um, that's one of the reasons I haven't bought this. But if you have straight hair, if you have normal hair, if you have slightly wavy hair that doesn't get too frizzy, or if it doesn't get too entangled, then you can use this because it adds that moisture back. Your hair is definitely going to feel a lot softer after using this. We have a few minis right here. This is the shampoo from Aveda, the botanical repair range. This is the rich hair mask. So this is the mini, you guys. This is what you get in a mini hair mask. This lasts you four to five washes easily. I think I kept these just to show you the size of them, but I finished a lot of these in Bali as well. I threw the empties right there. I love traveling with these. These are the perfect minis to travel with. Enough quantity for multiple five to six washes. Enough quantity to give you a good rinse as well. Very easy to travel with. No leakage whatsoever. We're down to the last two products in the hair care empties. This is the scalp revitalizer from Aveda. A constant repurchase for me. This is from the Invati Advanced range. It's an AHA based range that exfoliates the scalp and helps to boost hair growth fantastic stuff i love this so much you don't have to wash it off so you apply it on your scalp and let it be so you wash your hair dry it all off and then go in on your scalp use a little amount not too much it's not sticky it's not greasy it feels great on the hair now i did have a few balding spots right here because i do part my hair mostly on this side this has helped a lot even the juicy chemistry chili horsetail serum has helped a lot the chili hair serum has to be washed off you leave it on for about an hour or two it's only on the scalp not the whole hair wash it off this is something you can use right after the wash once your hair is dried use this so you have a constant treatment on your scalp which is fantastic and the last product right here is a curl defining cream from curl up this is my favorite since 2019 i love this formulation it's perfect to give you that boost of hydration and enhance your curls and your waves this does a fantastic job a little goes a long way this can get a bit too heavy if you have very fine hair if you have wavy hair this is not sufficient you will need to use a hair gel always use hair gel because waves need it i also like to use this for refresh so i add some water i dampen my hair and i add a little bit of this make a nice paste and then just go in you know just smoothen all of it out fantastic stuff great for refresh not too heavy not too greasy absolutely love it curl up is one of the brands i hold very close to my heart i love this so much
All right, you guys, those are all of my body care and hair care empties as of now. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was useful. I hope you liked the mini reviews as well. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products. What was your experience like? Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to take your leave now, you guys. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my previous videos right here. I will catch you all in the next video. So then take care of yourselves. Bye.